Hey, thanks again for joining me, Megan the Trainer, for another one of Megan's Movement Minutes. So, uh, for those of you who may not know, the DVRT community has released um, these big six exercises, so these big movements, um, kind of the main, the core um, to DVRT, and they release some standards associated with them. So, what kind of weights you should be using, how many reps. Um, so, I'm going to break down one of those big six exercises or movements, um, and it is the plank drag. So, in one of my other um, episodes, I've talked about the plank, I've talked about the hands, talk about the feet, talking about getting all of that tension established in the plank. But now the plank drag is just going to be an extra layer added on top, some little sprinkles, if you will, because everybody loves their sprinkles. To begin, you'll find yourself again in that plank position, so all those good things, so my heels are driving back, my toes are plugged in, pushing the floor down, gripping with my fingers. I'm going to start with my sandbag off to the side. I'm going to reach under, grab onto this outside handle, not losing the integrity of my plank, so I don't want my hips to open up. So keeping that plank position, grabbing the outside handle, arm is nice and straight, packing the lat. I'm going to slowly drag across, reset my hands, alternate, and repeat. So as you drag, you want to go slow, 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 slow. It's not a rip and grip kind of thing. Um, so we want to keep all that integrity again in that plank as well as in the lats as you drag. So feel free to give that a try. Let us know how it goes um, and we can give you more layers and more info on all of those big six um, episodes. <laughs> Uh, we can give you more um, insight on those big six movements to come.